Hi everyone, so today we're going to paint a daisy. Okay, so a few quick leaves, really faintly drawn. They're actually drawing a little bit darker than I wanted, but it'll be fine. And then I'll throw in a wee stem. So this is going to be quite a pale drawing. Obviously daisies are white, but we need to indicate the daisy somehow. So we need to use colour in some way. So I'm going to start the centre bit with a bit of yellow mixed with quinacridone gold. And I'm just going to paint in the centre bit there, all the way to the top. Then I'm going to go back to the Quinacridin Gold, which is quite a, it's a much stronger yellow. And I'm going to put that at the base of the round bit there. Now it's quite wet, so it's bleeding straight away. So I'll just do that and I'll go back in a little while and uh, give it a little bit of a darker edge so what color am i going to use uh, for the daisies i think i'll use a little bit of um ultramarine blue mixed with a touch of pink what pink is that um that pink is called pyrrole scarlet I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation, but it gives a bit of a lilac colour. So let's just start with this one here. Just going down the edges. Right to the bottom. And I'm going to the next one. Now I'm going to the next one because I'm not touching that bit there that I've painted so it won't bleed. So I'm cleaning the little bit of paint off my brush and I'm just going to go back in and blend the edge like so so I'm going to go round the whole daisy and do that try and not make it too regimented um, you know and some leaves uh, maybe just put it at the top some leaves maybe just put it at the bottom so we're not just drawing lines around the whole daisy leaves. And I'll pick a few leaves out to make them a fair bit darker than the others uh, because they'll be in the shade um, from the leaves up above them. So I'll we'll just do this one. Pull the complete leaf in, we'll do this one as well. Now what I tend to do is darken the colour the closer it is to the centre part of the flower. Like so, and then I'll wash the paint off and just blend it up again. So this one has a little bit of the, the yellow from the centre in it and you can see it's turned the colour a little bit green, but that's okay. So it's just a really simple daisy I'm doing for you here. Just another idea for you to get going and get playing with your paints. I'll put a shadow in here. Again, wash the paint off. Blend it up. Now, I didn't uh, mix enough of these colours on my palette, so 
I'm just grabbing my palette's always got old paint on it, so I'm just grabbing um, other bits of either sort of blue or pink from my palette. Now you can see the slight variations in the colours. This is a little bit more grey, a little bit more lilac, and I'm just going to put this blue one on until you see it. Just a slight variation. And I'll use that same blue over in a couple of the other ones as well, just to tie the whole thing together. A wee bit more shadow behind this one. So you can see it's a very delicate uh, painting. It's a daisy. It's, you're always going to paint a daisy quite delicately <clears throat> because it's white. Now if we could paint with white, it would make life an awful lot easier. But with watercolour, you tend not really to paint with white. Let's throw a bit of green in for the stem. So I'm just mixing any green in my palette. I can't actually see what one it is. <clears throat> I'm mixing it with some yellow. Just filling in the stem and the leaves as we've drawn them. Nothing fancy. When that's dry, we'll go in and paint a little bit darker uh, on one side of it and underneath the flower there. So I'm going to go back in and deepen the um, orange colour um, in the centre bit. I should really look up what these bits are called. So the stamen. So that's a bit darker. And again, I could probably get an even darker colour, even even adding a bit of blue or Payne's grey to that <clears throat> will do it some good. I don't know if you can hear it, but the neighbour's dogs are barking. Somebody must be at their door. Okay, so it's bled a little bit. You can see that. So the paint was still wet there, so it's bled a little bit out. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then try and put um, a more indicative darkness colour onto the centre part. Um, right, I'm going to add a little bit of darker green, as I said, to the stem. No, I'll put dark down this side, so the light's hitting it from this side. Clean the colour of my brush and blend it. Like so. Clean it off again so I'm not just spreading that new colour completely over the leaf. So we're keeping some of the, the original colour. There we go. So to help give it a wee bit of depth, I think I'm going to make a few more of the petals a little bit darker. Um, I'm being awfully impatient. I'm not checking to see if the paint next to it is dry. Which is a big no-no if you want sharp edges.
I thought I was hearing um, my soup bubbling away, but I forgot to put rice on and I just burnt a pan of rice. So um, it's completely dry now, so I'm adding in much, much, much darker, sort of violety blue. some of the places I think there would be shadows. I'll clean the colour off my brush and go back in and blend. If you heard that, that was Barry sneezing in the kitchen. I'll just add a wee bit more darkness to the centre here. Pull that out. I said I was going to darken that centre bit, so I shall go and do that now. I'm going to throw some more colour in. I may be getting carried away adding too much colour, but I want you to see what you can do. You know, you can just add whatever colour you're using, just add it throughout, really pale, you're just a real pale glaze um, because it's not the easiest flower to demonstrate because it's white so I want you to see um, what you can do. So I'm going to add in more dark bits for the shadows, I mean a daisy, you probably wouldn't paint a daisy this dark or with this much colour but I'm thinking it's maybe just helpful for you to see what you can do. The last bit of darkness in the centre, but I'm going to stop adding and adding and adding. There we go. I'm going to stop there. So there is just a simple little daisy. Just go in and have fun playing with really watery washes on your leaves and see how it goes okay bye bye everyone